Now, author and business journalist Susie Welsh believes she's discovered a way to solve the problems we face in our everyday lives. She calls it the 10-10-10 formula, and it works thus. Every time you find yourself facing a difficult decision, ask yourself the 10-10-10 question. What would the consequences of my decision be in 10 minutes, 10 months, and 10 years? Sounds simple enough, but uh, should we really... Well, she says it does. Um, uh, do, do you think about the here and now, or do you think of the well, long-term Well, you know, I'm a, I, I'm a rusher in her, and a plower in her, and I just go in and do things, and my mother always says, you never think before you do anything. So I don't take the... T I wouldn't know how to do that, 10, 10, and 10. So I don't... I wish I had, you know, when I look back on my past, there's so many things I should have thought about and thought, right... Not mainly 10 minutes, because that's gone, hasn't it? By the time you've sat down and got a cup of tea, that's gone. But 10 months, 10 years, and thought, if only I thought, do you know what? If you do it now, in 10 years' time, it, it, it'll all work out all right. But you don't do that, though, do you? Because you only think of here and now, especially when you're young. It doesn't occur to you to think, well, this is the right thing to do now. It may hurt, and you're going to really go through some bad times. But you know, in 10 months... And in 10 years' time, you're going to say that was a... If I'd have done that, you know, with my marriage and everything, I would have got... You wouldn't have wasted 10 years. I wouldn't have wasted, I would have got married <laughs> again, and you know what I mean? So, I, but I'm a rusher in, I go, oh, yes, OK, I'll do no, that, I and then think, I regret I don't think that's things. what you were doing. I think you, you were trying to avoid doing something, I was. anything at all, because, you know, you knew that if whatever you had done before you were ready to do it, or before you were forced to do it, then that 10 minutes, you would have known that 10 minutes would have been a nightmare. It might have been a nightmare in 10 months, and so you didn't do anything. And then, you know, but 10 that's years wrong, has isn't gone. it? What a waste. Of course it's wrong. It's totally wrong. Yeah. So what do you do, it's, Carol? Well, you, I think you have to just go for it. I honestly think that there are no... There's no such thing as a wrong decision. I think you can only make decisions. And once you've made it, that's the decision. You've made it. Live with it and get on with it. Because whatever happens, you know, you, you can reverse certain decisions and you can change your mind about stuff. But most of the time, you should just go along with it and stop fussing about what might happen, what might no, have but happened. Sometimes it's difficult. You know, I, I mean, I, I, I have to completely two sides or well more to, to my um, to my personality and there's some things that like relationships and stuff I do always think about the consequences of the of the long term and and I get really I get really stressed about it and I have this thing where I start projecting into the into the future and even career decisions I can't be Im impulsive and it's thinking if I say no if oh, I should say no I know I should say no but then that might happen and that might happen and like with with with, with relationships before well if I if I end this now then that what's going to happen in that and then I get myself all in a complete state mm -hmm. But if it's a case of, you know, um, it's three o'clock in the morning, should you go home or should you go to that bar around the corner? I wish I did think of the consequences <laughs> and that's when I just, well, that's when I just plow, plow in. But that's when so, you can't make decisions because you're, the first thing to go when you have an alcoholic drink is your decision-making cell. Yeah. That's it. So that's a bad time to try and think about decisions. I mean, it's a very decisions. structured way, that 10, 10, 10 to think. I mean, it sounds like Lisa Maxwell's vital statistics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you do it it's you a bit the right way in a way because you did on the big things in life, you know, the important things in life. You actually, and I'm surprised. Right I mean, God, it's not always the right decision, Sherry. Sometimes it's totally the wrong decision. But I'm surprised at you because you're overthinking. Well, I always think of, of you as being so doolally. And yet. <laughs> you, think, you think of me as being doolally. <laughs> oh, my pot and kettle. Pot and kettle. If yeah. Sherry Houston thinks you're doolally, you, you have lost the plot. <laughs> think of you know long-term consequences <laughs> of your actions because you all strike me as a you know you're a very measured person you're, yeah yeah well, no I do think things through as much as possible but if you if you overthink something it becomes too complicated you know you can write a great big long list here of why you should do something and another one here about why you shouldn't and it, it doesn't solve the problem you think oh it should 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 shouldn't you just got to go for it and make mm. the decision because you know a lot of people say to me do you not think about what your relationship might be like in 10 years time and yes I do think about that but what is the point of that you know I could say well you know our relationship might be more difficult in 10 years yeah. but 
What, what do I do? What do I do? Do I make a decision now and say, right, well, let's just leave it at that because I, I can't deal with what might happen in 10 years' time? Mm. It probably won't, or it might do, no. but I'll deal I'm with not, it I when totally it does. Yeah, and I think that's a very healthy way of thinking, but unfortunately, that's taken away from some people. I can't be as sort of measured as that because everything takes over and I just start to sort of you panic that, and stress and make myself to, ill. Don't you think a lot of it has to do with gut feeling as well? Because it's all very yeah, well, does. like you said, you know, writing down a list. I, I kind of live by the, if it feels right, it is right. If it feels wrong, nine times out of ten, How it do you is know wrong. That's right. How you do you just know, if you've got know it's feeling? just a feeling oh, just I in here. Know. And that's to do with, so. with relationships or decisions or, you know, or, or even your behaviour sometimes. You know, if you're acting in a certain way to try and fit in in certain circumstances, and part of you, you know, is thinking, what are you doing? Um, and you yeah. step back and take a look at yourself and think, no, that's not right. Just be yourself. But I sometimes think. your gut feeling could be wrong. <clears throat> I mean, that, you know, yeah, it can lead right, you what's into... What's right and wrong? What is... Who says? All right, then. All right. To, otherwise, you don't do anything at all. All right. Before. Have you ever made a decision, then, and it's been wrong? Probably. Probably? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, what do you do, then? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say that was the wrong decision, because it was the decision, and I made it. So, therefore, I've got to live with that decision and make the best of what I've done. And then you make I'm another gonna, decision. Yeah, what is the, the point of me sitting at... Yeah, I passed my 11 plus, I didn't go to grammar school through choice. Oh, that was the wrong decision, I really should have gone, because then maybe I'd be a lawyer now. No, I'm not a lawyer, I'm sitting here, and, you know, I'm forever grateful for that. And that might have something to do is with this, the fact that I made a wrong decision. Is this something to do with that you're always right? You're <laughs> never... <laughs> Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe. No, I'm not. I'm not always wrong. Well, we, we are right on time now for one last break.